Assalamualaikum and hi. My name is Yasin Batrisha binti Z Yusri Effendi and I'm a geometric engineering student in University Technology Malaysia. While studying here, I had a chance to study about photogrammetry. So today I'm going to share about something related to photogrammetry which is about LiDAR or precisely the accuracy of LiDAR data. This is also based on the research paper I've read on the internet. First of all, I'm going to explain what is LiDAR. LiDAR, which stands for Light Detection and Ranging, is a remote sensing method that uses light in the form of a pulse laser to measure ranges to the Earth. These light pulses, combined with other data recorded by the airborne system, generate precise three-dimensional information about the shape of the Earth and its surface characteristic. Or, in simple words to understand, LiDAR is the remote sensing method used to examine the surface of the Earth. The picture shown is the result of using LiDAR. Okay, let's get back to the main topic, which is the accuracy of LiDAR data. Nowadays, LiDAR is more and more frequent used in all kinds of fields such as forest measurement, transportation, and power transmission fields. Airborne LiDAR data is including point clouds and images. Point clouds have horizontal and vertical positional information and intensity. In survey and mapping field, LiDAR data have several benefits. First, it can get precise elevation of ground, trees, and buildings, which can only be obtained by conventional area photography method. Moreover, LiDAR method is more accurate than it. Secondly, points and images of LiDAR systems can be used to build three-dimensional models without current topo topographical map. This broke up current circle procedure of making three-dimensional models. Firstly, let's take a look at the accuracy of elevation of LiDAR data. This is the example of processed LiDAR data. There are 19 points of the coordinate. We can see that the average Z is 0.008 meter, root mean square is 0.119 meter, and standard deviation is 0.122 meter. The accuracy of elevation is very good. Next is the accuracy of DLG by LiDAR data. The figure shows the small offset between two kinds of map, except for some edges of small road line in front of houses. The elements in ratio 1 to 1000 scale DLG were drawn in black, which were made in Terra Solid software with LiDAR point clouds and images. In comparison, Ratio 1 to 500 scale was done in field survey with total stations drawn in red color. From the back circle, we can see that the ratio 1 to 1000 scale map is deviated to east and the distance is less than 0.8 meters. It is systematic. In black rectangle, the elevation values are almost the same which proves the elevation accuracy is very good. The third one is the accuracy of DOM and 3-dimensional models by LiDAR. DOM can be done with the images of digital cameras such as ADS-40, DMC, and UCX. It also can be done with the images of camera installed along laser scanner in LiDAR system. The figure shows the LG and DOM will match well. There is small deviation on two types of map. If we consider the LG have high accuracy, the DOM have a systemic which is 0.8 meter with west to east direction. LiDAR technology is a high technology integration system which can explore objects and measure distance by the use of laser scanning. With this system, we can obtain urban data surface model easily. Working with point clouds of LiDAR data and images is a good method which we only need point clouds. We can make three-dimensional models according points and images. The cloud points can make more perfect description on proof of building than others. For the accuracy, it can be found that the area of elevation is smaller than 0.5 meters. 
So that was the end for the accuracy of LiDAR data. The accuracy of LiDAR data and the stabilization of light plays the main part of the accuracy of post-processing. If we compare the accuracy between DM, DOM and DLG, DM has the smallest mean error which is smaller than 0.15 meters in elevation value. DOM's mean error is smaller than 1 meter planar value while DLG's mean error of plane is smaller than 1 meter. That is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day and Assalamualaikum.